Hello, beautifuls. Welcome back to my Chanel. I just made a grave mistake and didn't click record audio. So I've done a huge intro to this video and it's just going to go into the pile, into the pile of nothing. Death. So my lovelies, welcome back to another Dr. 90210 episode. This show categorizes plastic surgery in probably the most realistic way here on the Chanel that we've seen out of some of the plastic surgery shows. For example, The Swan and Bridal Plastic. And I Want a Famous Face and Extreme Makeover. Why are you making it to the- backing, 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 backing. So we haven't done one of these episodes for a little while. I think it was actually December? early December that we did one? Which is kind of shocking because it's already nearly the end of January and I just don't know what time is anymore. So far in this series, we've seen some quite shocking makeovers. We've seen phenol peels. We've seen models getting plastic surgery in order to advance their careers. We've seen breast augmentations. We've seen botched breast augmentations. And considering this show was on in the mid 2000s, it does a really good way of explaining plastic surgery. Maybe not in the sense of like what comes after the plastic surgery, like the recovery and the healing and the mental anguish that might come with that hashtag if you've been there. But it does a really good way of explaining the consultation process and also the actual surgery itself. We are speeding through this series. I believe today we are on episode nine or is it eight? I think we're on episode eight actually. I think I have made a little bit of a blip though because where I'm getting the, where I'm sourcing this from is actually from a DVD. And I think the episodes on the DVD are listed in the wrong way around, which is not very fun because how did that happen? How did, how did that mistake happen? I just don't know. Because according to everything that I've read online, the episode list is in a specific order and the one on the DVD doesn't match that order, so... Quite the scandal, actually. One of the top comments on the last episode we watched of Dr. 90210 is by Melissa Shilkoff, and she says, I love how Dr. Raj Kanodia specified that the imperfection is in the patient's eyes. It was such a gentler and kinder way than Dr. Ray could ever say it. And yes, isn't that just correct? In this series, we have seen Dr. Ray behaving in a very strange way that doesn't exactly like lead me to believe that he's the person that I would like to have personally in my life, but that's just me, girl. Get your beverage at the ready, my loves. Today, I am on the Monster Ultra Paradise, which is apple flavor. Not my favorite, gotta admit. And let's watch another episode of Dr. 90210, girls. Yes. So today we're meeting a teen and the title of this episode is One Small Change Can Make a Big Difference. I'm guessing that today's episode is going to be about rhinoplasty, girls. <laughs> Oh, there's a leg and a burning solder iron. It's not a solder iron, it's a surgical implement. A woman's back, a neck, an eye, and some teeth. <laughs> That's what the perfect woman is all of the above. Dr. 90210, girls. Okay. Rodeo Drive. She's got a Bentley. Dr. Kenodia's office. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Raj. What are we going to do today? Um, I just want something to pick up, like a little refresher. Yeah? yeah. A refresher? And you got a hot day, huh? Yeah, yeah, hot day. I, I don't work with people who are hurting or in pain or they're seeking some medical advice for some medical reason. They're coming to me because they want some improvement. Okay. So first, let's start okay. with the Okay. Do All right. Do we agree with that? That people aren't coming to me in pain or needing medical advice. They're coming to me for improvement. Is that a sentence that we like? Do we like that sentence? I don't think I've ever heard that sentence in any of these shows that we've been covering on this Chanel Girls. So first let's start with Botox. Botox? We'll do a little bit of filler. Filler? And a little bit of vitamin C. And you'll be ready for Friday. A little bit of what? And a little bit of vitamin C. And you'll be ready. do a little bit of filler. And a little bit of vitamin C. And you'll be ready for Friday. I'm a contour. What was that? And a little bit of vitamin C. And you'll be ready for Friday. I don't know what that last bit was. Was that a little bit of I'm a contour? I'm a contour? No idea. I guess we're in for a surprise, girls. Be ready for Friday. All right, good. Okay, so she's got a hot date and she needs to be plump. Their nose, hates their Wait, if, oh, here we go, needles girl. If you're gonna get Botox though, it does take like, uh, it does take two weeks to like fully, fully kick in fully. I mean, I've got Botox in my forehead, but you, I can still move my eyebrows. For me, Botox kicks in over the course of 48 hours. So you're gonna have to keep that in mind of like, you can't wear makeup on your first day of wearing it. And it's gonna take a little while to kick in between two and 14 days for its final, how it's gonna finally look at the end product. Product. Damn. About themselves and Needle wants in the eye, to change go. their lives. So this is pure vitamin C and oh, oh, is that what he said? Vitamin C. Make a cocktail. 
So it's a series of injections and deposits. She's got a gorgeous exactly face. Exactly where you've lost some baby fat. Oh, oh my goodness. Pop goes the slump. You're depositing all these wonderful nutrients, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, into the layer of skin where it belongs and it's very nourishing to Ooh, the skin. Oh, I've never seen that before. Tweaking and refining them a little bit. So it's I have no idea if I'm going to be able to even put that in this video, but that was really interesting. If I can't put it in for some reason, let me describe to you. Let me help you. It was a syringe on this mechanical device that was going eh, 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 and he was just running it across here, under here. Apparently it consists of vitamin C and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is in a filler. It's usually the most used like dermal filler on the market at the moment, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is. I think nowadays major the majority of filler that people get is hyaluronic acid based filler, which is like a, a mesh of a very hydrophilic substance and it can hold a thousand times its own weight in water. So it's very like plumping. So the idea that he's just like, putting it all across here means that all around here is going to be like nice and plump, which is completely in contrast to what we see at the moment, which is everyone getting their buckle fat removed. Not a joke, just a fact. It's interesting that plastic surgery has a foot clearly Dr. planted May. in oh, science, rest. but the other foot is obviously planted in art. Science versus is an art. Artist. Very true. Tim Smith is an artist. Yeah. You just have to find your medium. I found my medium. Thanks, Raj. You're welcome. Okay. Does she look great? We didn't get an after. We didn't get before and after. I wanted to see what it had done. Ow. Ow. Death. That is a problem with this show that has happened throughout every episode that we've watched is that the before and afters, we just don't really get them. We get lots of before and then like one snapshot of the after. And it's a bit like, I would like to be able to compare and contrast what we're exactly seeing here. So it would make sense. Ow. There's a statue on the golf course. Botox! Light grip, full swing. Light grip, full swing. My name ah. is Lauren, I'm 16 years old, and I'm having a nose job to make myself... Sorry, 16? Oh, that's terrible. 16 years old and going for a nose job. Oh, here we go, girls. This is a shocking tale I didn't quite expect we'd be delving into today. Should children be getting plastic surgery? Maybe I'll title this video that. Wow, okay, 16 years old. I believe in the UK you have to be over 18 in order to get any form of plastic surgery. But I think you might also need like GP recommendations as well in the UK. I had to have quite extensive GP documentation in order to have my uh, breast augmentation here. I don't think I did for my hair transplant though. Feel better and more comfortable with myself. Okay. So she wants to feel more better and more wow. comfortable with a nose job. I started playing golf when I was seven years old. This is a little bit of an awkward thing because I feel so much more confident, comfortable and happy after my nose job, but I had mine for a different reason. I had mine due to gender dysphoria because we're shrinking every other feature on my face and otherwise when my nose would look exceptionally large in comparison. So I understand the want to get a nose job. I do think 16 is a bit young though because the rest of your face kind of hasn't set yet. And I've been playing for about eight years on and off. If I'm playing Golf. at a level that's qualifying, I'll go to Q school. Q to school. To make sure the LPGA. LPGA, lesbians put golf everywhere. <laughs> and she's gonna make it. When I was 13, I started thinking that oh dear. I hated my nose. Oh. And people used to call this me Pinocchio. Pinocchio? And from the front, it's still in the front, but it comes, it's down a deep ditch here, and then it comes out. I never thought it was that bad that people had to tease you, but when you're 12 years old, kids will find any reason to make fun of you. We've all- So we've actually seen a few rhinoplasties here on the Chanel. We've also seen in the case of Tanya in The Swan where she rejected a rhinoplasty because she wanted to look like her kids still. Now, I can kind of understand this. There was a bit of a movement on TikTok and Instagram. I think I saw this about two years ago where there were a selection of women with like very, 
Should we say characteristic noses? I'm a great fan of a characteristic nose. And they were using images of their ancestors to show their like linear, like their genealogy due to their nose shape. And I can kind of really see that. For me, absolutely, like does not bother me. For me, my, my ancestors' nose shape did not have an impact on me. But I can also understand for some people, it might be quite nice to be able to say, well, the reason why my nose looks like this is because it's been in my family forever. And I kind of like that. I, I kind of like the idea of being proud of your like inherited features. I like that. I think that's really cute. Been made fun for some body part, but consistent ridicule by your peers will leave uh, psychological scars. Yes. I do think I lack self-confidence. I lack self-confidence when I'm talking to people because I think that they're staring at my nose and that's all they see. Oh. You have to be confident with yourself and how you play the game to go pro. Oh, are they trying? Are they trying to relate like being good at something to also playing golf? Is that what the is that the storyline that we're going here? The producers here were like, she likes golf, so everything is golf themed. If this was an episode of Changing Rooms, her whole house would become a golf course. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, oh no! I can really understand and see where she's coming from here because it is horrendous to have that form of. I guess in this case, it would be dysmorphia rather than dysphoria about a certain body part. I can totally understand and I can sympathise and I can empathise with it. I just don't think that at six I think at 16 that's just a bit young I think it's a bit young to actually be undergoing like surgical intervention because it's not finished like your nose isn't finished yet I don't know though she hasn't necessarily undergone it the doctor might be like no we can't do it no that was a lie like you can't even get piercings or tattoos or I think you can get some piercings in the UK under 18 I think you shouldn't be able to but I think some places you can but I know you can't get any like dermal fillers Botox until you're over 18 and um, but then of course like the ethical implications of giving Botox to an 18 year old for anti-aging is I don't know there is implications <gasps> Cosmetic oh. nasal surgery is appropriate for young ladies at 15 and older because they have a... 15? 15 young ladies of 15 and older? I don't think. Oh, I'm not sure I like this one, you know? There's me earlier going, This is a really great show. It shows us what plastic surgery is almost really like. Here we are giving 15-year-olds nose jobs. I don't think. That's a self and understand that an operation can solve that one issue for them. The best thing that could come out of this for me is self-confidence and self-assurance. Yes. That I'm happy with who I am. Yes. That does develop with age as well. Lalik, go! Right, okay. Da. Camden! Hi, Dr. How are you? Good, how are you? Right. I hope he says we're not going to do it until you're 18, sorry. Let's go. Lauren's seen me once already and uh, enjoyed meeting her. And I just thought, she's in, she's in America, isn't she? She can't even have alcohol for another... How old is she? 16. She can't have alcohol for another five years, but potentially she's going to be having a nose job? Wild. Look, I would love to do your nose. Lauren, look at these pictures. We'd love to do your nose. And, uh, <gasps> so they're actually doing it. Shade it and show it to you, you know, what your nose is going to look like. So you have a very good idea. This is the cartilage. My first impression of Dr. Kenodia was he knew what he was doing. So then let's give it another look. You would hope so, wouldn't you, for a plastic surgeon? Yes! Actually, what's happening here is kind of exactly what happened when I went in for my um, facial feminization surgery. Specifically, my rhinoplasty doctor took several photos of me. You'll have like this way and this way and straight ahead and then they'll doodle on the actual pictures to be like this is what we are working with you towards getting I remember I specifically said I just want a very slight curve very 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 slight almost unnoticeable because the idea of having like a nose that goes very too much is just too much for me now none of his noses are the same you look like yourself just more refined okay look at this before and after. So okay, after. so she's gone, yeah. technically here, she's kind of gone for this like straight, just a really typical straight nose. Okay. Is there a tip refinement there as well? I feel like there is a slight tip refinement. Interesting. A little bit more to go. Yeah. But yeah, it's shaping. There's still mm -hmm. a little bump right here, still yeah, a little bit. Right, yeah, just so a tiny more, bit, but yes. it's... So okay, take that down. more no. changes. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, good. Dr. Kenodia is going to refine the bump right here and make it straight and even. Okay. And right here on the sides, he's going to narrow the bone structure because the base is too wide. 
and this bulbous, he's going to remove and refine and lift it just a little bit. Okay. And, and it, it looks like her. You know, it's not going to change the nose. It's just... That's what I like about... Yeah, I mean, it is changing the nose. It's a bit disingenuous to be like, this plastic surgery cosmetic rhinoplasty is not going to change your nose. That's a bit disingenuous to say because the whole point of this is to change the way the nose looks. What I like about... Yeah, beautiful face. It's her lips, her uh, cheeks, her eyes are beautiful. And I think just refining the nose is going to, you know, sort of complete the sculpture. Okay, Look at that. Sculpture. So much better. Huh? Nice. Yeah, very nice. Better. Great. Okay. I'm very excited. Thank okay. you. Okay, interesting. Oh, her mum there has kind of like a, pus a little right, pussy nose. Look, her mum's got kind of like that. Kind of similar to mine. She's got a little bit of like a swoop and an upwards thing. I wonder if she's had a rhinoplasty perhaps. Oh, mummy's got a pussy nose. Pussy. Pussy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. Ferrari girls. The gym. Reach. Oh my goodness, what is he doing? Pussy. Girl, keep reaching. Coming from work straight here, working out, transitions me into a normal Don't say transition. From being a very serious She's a sculptor, artist, woman. doctor. He basically pays me to stand on him. <laughs> Doing no, no surgery, like in a very contorted uh, position. Oh, we just had to have some cleavage really there, didn't we? Surgery. Back. And what we do here is she untorques that torque we create due to occupational hazards. Okay. Yes, I do Two, think if one. you are in a position where your job requires you to have con like extended periods of concentration and not stress, but like engaged muscles, then it is very important to like de-stress and unwind. The last thing you want to have is a highly stressed, anxious plastic surgeon working on you. Can you imagine? <laughs> Good heavens. That's the last thing you want. <laughs> so I've been lifting for 30 years straight. Lifting for 30 years? It's just an years. addiction. It's a... You should probably put it down. <laughs> I'm going 10 times now, Rush. 10. I'm fine. Nine. It, it, it's, oh, I'm supposed to do a leg workout later. natural, happy juices or hormones. Just wellness. All put in one. Yes. Two. It is a sad fact of life that exercise does indeed improve your mental health. <sighs> She's a muscle Mary juice queen. Is she going to have the nose job? Is there going to be a complication? Will she not wake up from surgery curls? Let's find out. Friends, a delicatessen. Right? Oh, My I see. My family is great. When something changes in somebody's life, we all get together just to celebrate and have dinner and have a good time. A rhinoplasty party! Excuse me, everybody. We have to go to Weatherspoons. We're having a rhinoplasty party. Nothing like it. Maybe I should have had one. Can't you do for a month? Play golf. <laughs> oh, wow. Because I can't put my head down. Because then all the blood will come out. She can't play golf. <laughs> For a month. Tomorrow I am going for surgery for my nose. So we're gonna I'm kick so out the old and welcome the new. Six, uh, 16 years old. 16 years old. Is 16 too young for a rhinoplasty? I feel like it is. Am I wrong? Is there anyone in the audience here who's had plastic surgery from a very young age? Like I think 15 and 16 is young. Young, young like we wouldn't be saying get a boob job at 16, would we? No. We were watching There's Something About Miriam and she, I think she said that she got a boob job at like 16 years old. Very young. Too, you're too young for all these plastics. This too young. Well, I'm very excited about uh, the deli owner. Look. I don't know if it's going to help her golf game or not, but uh, if it makes her happy, it's They're great. really leaning into I golf here, aren't they? Nose. I think she's very attractive. Yep. Oh, she is yeah. so mid-2000s. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have it done. Let's just have that you in the right direction. Yeah. It's great to be puns. able to have your family so close and all of it. I don't know what I'd be without my family. They're wonderful people. All right, talk to you later. Bye. I think her mum has had a rhinoplasty, you know. She's got that very specific, like, rhinoplasty look. Maybe she hasn't. I must investigate. Hi, welcome. Welcome to my home. We are in Hello. Bel Air. This house I oh, purchased in 94. This was an old house. I looked at it, saw the potential. And it's a remodel. Almost like doing... It looks so surgery. much like the house in the Osbournes. Just without the gargoyles. Daytime tweed with an evening... Death! This house. This is the original Latier. 
It's a French painting from 17th uh, century. This is the dining room. But the moment oh I have my God! Just can be fit in, so about 14 here. This is sort of my meditation room. I write, read here. My father was a very strong influence on me, but he was influenced as a child by Mahatma Gandhi. What a beautiful house that was. Granted, it's still a little bit like mid-2000s grandeur for me, but the idea of having like legitimate old artwork in your house is gorgeous. Love everything about it. Very in stark contrast to what we just watched on Wife Swap when I was like, everything is beige, but not beige, greyish. He was very strongly influenced by um, Beautiful. I principles of simplicity in life. What an amazing house to just not, like you know, wake up in. Rebelling is my father's principles. I love to frolic and have fun. More boobies. Life. Oh, I'm no, having I'm a dinner party tonight, that. cooking some Indian food. Oh. This oh, is called tandoor. It's very traditional northern Indian cooking. Um, so if you see, there's a lot of coal at the bottom of the yes. clay. The whole clay heats up. It's a very healthy way of cooking. Oh, the fish a and clay the oven gunnel. into the skewers, and the radiant heat from all around is just going to cook it. The clay in itself imparts a really good tandoori flavor. It's not expecting about Amazing. anywhere from 40. Oh, anything with bread. Oh, I love bread so much. It's such an Achilles heel in my weight management journey, but bread, I love bread. 50 to 50 to 60 guests. Oh, Patience, look, delicious. Friends, I don't know what it is, but delicious. Sort of a month. Ooh, I think he might have burnt himself. Five, ten more minutes. I'm no longer a host. I'm, I'm having fun. Oh, suddenly it's night time at the party. What's this party for? Is this the rhinoplasty party part two? Lauren. I wish you nervous. <gasps> She's like, my golfing career is Today, over because of my nose job. Before the surgery, at 16. And I'm nervous and anxious and ready to go there tomorrow and get it done. I think you're beautiful. Ooh. I think your whole facial, your eyes, your smile, yeah. and your nose, it's, it's, it's you. But I know that you will be a lot happier. Grandma has a very similar nose shape if we see here. Again, this goes back to the thing that I mentioned earlier about some people do like the shape of their nose because it kind of denotes their genealogical line. And I can understand that. I can totally understand that. You want to look like your relatives, right? Maybe not always. Depends on the relatives, I guess. <laughs> but I know that you will be a lot happier. She's gorgeous anyway. All Aww. my friends say I don't need a nose job. Some people say you're going to regret it. Some, you know, but... One person said... Yeah, but that one person... Really needs a nose job. Really needs yeah. a nose job. <laughs> <You> need... <laughs> I don't think say, oh, saying to someone they need a nose job. Blech. Not for me, girls. Right, here we go. Let's go walk up the hall. Oh, she's nervous. Do you want to stop this? Um, I wonder how long the surgery will take. I am really nervous that I'm not going to like it. I'm nervous that it's not going to be what I expect and that it's just it not going to be It takes a long time right. for rhinoplasty to heal, and 18 months. that something's going to happen or some complications. In medicine, we walk a very fine line because we have to talk to the patient about the risks. Yes. Patients are always terrified that something's gonna happen under anesthesia. And yes. This is one of the things that, one of their real stumbling blocks. You're rendered unconscious. Now, that does put you a little closer to death in reality. Just a little bit. Scary. It is kind of scary. There is always a worry about the risk whenever you go under the knife. I very much am like, I'm gonna die. I need to tell everyone that I love them in my life before I depart this material plane. It's a bit dramatic, but it is true. Here we are, girls. Is she gonna go in for surgery now? Is she, have you put her nerves to rest? To rest? Hi, Lauren. Come Hi. on with me. We're gonna just take your vital signs and get you ready. And go ahead and say goodbye to your mom. No, no, so I'll see you later. Cheryl, go! Are you taking the pace? <laughs> yeah. All right. Today's Lauren's kisses. surgery, and I'm goodbye. going to be performing a rhinoplasty on her. Yes. Oh, oh nice see. suit. Okay. <laughs> no, that's good. She's 16. No. Bad explain. Okay. okay. In my practice, it's very common to perform this surgery in young people. This age is important because I feel that they're going through um, a transition in life, making transition from high school to college. So they sort of want to put their best nose forward, so to speak. But at 16, I just feel like that's too young. Lauren, how you feel? Good? Getting relaxed? You want some music? 
Nah. A beautiful sound. <laughs> she nice She's just gonna be unconscious. She's not gonna care. Your face. Yeah. Okay. You're gonna be completely asleep. Okay. Not Here we go, girls. You're not gonna feel a thing. Oh, I forget how like aggressive rhinoplasty is. I like the lights out when I operate. It's because I'm able to focus completely on the nose. He likes it. Let's do the septum first. Repeated mini injections. Numbs the area and prevents bleeding. Okay. She's got approximately 50% obstruction on both sides. She has a deviation of the septum, so she'll be able to breathe. She's 16, so she's going to be able to breathe better for the rest of her life. So this is Ah, is this how they've gotten into it? This is actually, like, restorative. I'd rather be fishing. So fix the septum. Well then, why are you even here? Go fishing. Why even bother saying that, sir? Like, your granddaughter's in surgery and you're like, I'd rather be fishing. Well, go. Who's going to miss you anyway? Do the refinement right. rhinoplasty. So this is the extra piece of cartilage which is making the tip look a little bulbous. So I'm going to trim this a little bit wow. and we'll see instantly what we've accomplished. So these are the two tip cartilages which we have sculpted. That's what's been removed. Now all I have to do is narrow the bones and we're done. Why is taking so long? Oh, chisel girls, three hours so far. This is quite a rhinoplasty, girls. Oh my God. Look at how gorgeous this looks. Wow. Chiseling into the bone Ooh. of the face yeah. is quite a lot, Start isn't it? And sculpting and look at this. Nice beginning. How straight is this? Beautiful, all that excess projection that is, is gone. That is quite a gorgeous nose. And it doesn't look different. It looks like her. I'm, I'm so thrilled. Exactly what I had envisioned from the first minute I saw her. Oh! I, I get a vision and I have to take it there. Just a few millimeters. Take it there, girls! A very subtle change will make millimeters. a huge difference. Uh-huh. Lauren? Wakey, Lauren. wakey. Hello? Hello. She's just a little girl that, that you're not used to medicine. Okay, Lauren, Lauren, this is Marga. Do you hear me, honey? Oh, wakey, wakey. Lauren, Marga. Oh my God, why they played the death noise? A long time, and I'm really, really upset. What? This is a long time, and I'm really, really upset. Do you hear me, sweet? The drama. Oh my goodness. Is she gonna wake up? 16 years old? Have we just watched a 16 year old like die? No. I'm In Louis Vuitton. I'm really, really upset. You know, you don't want to talk to me right now. Oh, she's upset. Lauren, it's Marga. Do you hear she's me? She's like, no, no cameras. This is a long time. Immediately after the surgery is done, anesthesia is switched off, the patient's awake. Because uh, we do, uh, you know, rhinoplasty in teenagers. It's their first experience with anesthesia. Oh. In Lauren's case, it might have taken her five more minutes than, you know, what I consider the norm. Just like no two noses are the same, no two anesthesia awakenings are going to be necessarily the same. Okay. A lot of these family members worry a lot, but there's not a whole lot they can do. I find from experience they worry way more uh, than the situation calls for. A little longer than I expected. I was getting a, a little stressed out you ready to wake up you can't really do anything though like what, what can you do in that situation i try to teach myself i try to live by the example of there's no point getting angry about situations you can't immediately try and take the reins off being angry at a surgeon whilst they're performing surgery is not going to make the situation better smoother or easier so oh interesting but i can also imagine that it's quite a panic when your daughter's not woken up from anesthetic like as swift as you would expect. I guess just like tensions are running high in this situation. She's 16. Ah! Open your eyes. Hey, right, is she done. awake? Oh, there she it's is. It's all done, sweetheart. Oh, she must be feeling it. Yeah. All over. It's anesthetic all over. hangover. Everything went perfect. You're going to love your nose. You want her daughter back? I want my daughter back. <laughs> Okay. Hello. So happy to see you. Oh, welcome Came back, stunning. doctor. Came yeah. Stunning. Exactly what we had planned. Yeah. That's exactly what she got. It's so she's good. okay. She's fabulous. Yes. Yeah. yeah. She's fabulous. Oh, the she's family great. doesn't look happy. <laughs> waking up, and in about five minutes, I'm going to take you in there, and you're going to be able to say hello. 
you know, expectations, one thing, you work towards the, what's your vision. That was a bit of a weird situation. Do you reckon at some point during this thing, they were told like how long to expect it was going to take and then because it was overrunning, perhaps tensions were running high, tempers were running high, panic was a bit high. Ah, what's happening? Cause she didn't seem very like, oh my goodness, tell me how she is. She was like, am I happy to see you before I eat you? A witch. And his expectations are, and then to accomplish that, and we did. So you did so good, the nose looks stunning, it came out so beautiful. Oh, she's gonna be sore. You're welcome. Best night's sleep I've ever had. Huh? Best sleep you ever had? Yeah. <laughs> Hi, really? baby. Hi. Look at how that. You see, even through the bandage, even through the bandage, look at, see how nice it looks, huh? I saw my daughter, she looks beautiful. Her nose is straight. There's no more bump. It, it is, it's a change. Hmm. Right. Da, 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 da. One week later. It's oh, is this when she's taking the, the packing off? Oh, she's so bruised. Taken off and I'm really excited. She wants to know if she doesn't like it, what does she do? <laughs> Put filler. That's it. You get one shot at this. <laughs> well, one you can have only. revisions. I really just want it's quite common for people who have rhinoplasties to have revisions eventually. I say quite common. Maybe not every surgery. Oh, bleep. Adobe, now is not the time. Go f yourself. I'm gonna rip this cast off right now really badly. I remember well, when I had my cast really? off and I was like, panic! Uh, yeah. Okay, come. Today I'm going to unveil uh, Lauren's nose. Unveil? And she's going to get a glimpse unveil. of uh, what uh, she sees for the first time. Okay. That's uh, coming up. <laughs> wow. She's yeah. definitely had uh, a little yeah. pussy nose uh, installed. Yeah. Oh, she's got some swelling. Okay. There you go. I'm gonna oh, take she's so tape bruised. Off. I'm not done yet. Just a minute. Not... Look at that. Put the mirror a little further. Look. Now ring the mirror. I tell you what, it is really funny when you first have your rhinoplasty and like this bit's really swollen because you kind of resemble a bit of a shark or a dolphin or something like a very marine creature. It's very interesting. The first thing I noticed was there was no bump. Yeah, and no bump. It just it's gone. Natural. I love the way it looks. This was the end result I had in mind. All the refinement we have been able to accomplish. Oh, and it's yes, quite impressive. The nose looks like her. It's still Lauren couple of weeks it's gonna look sensational it has changed her face shape though in uh, i would say like another three or four days mm -hmm. all the bruises should leave she's a bit swollen completely. though yeah but it's like just it. perfect yeah oh i wonder what it's gonna look like all right can we get a Oh, she's back on the golf course, girl. We are at Braemar Country Club. Right, a month Club. later. Since surgery, I haven't been able to play golf, so today's my first day going out. Mm -hmm. I haven't been able to play golf because you're not allowed to put your face down okay. after surgery. And I'm really anxious to get out and waiting. Okay. Hey. We're up in the stratosphere. Yeah, well, it never came back down. Since Would you rather surgery, be fishing, I'm more comfortable going out with people and having them look at me and know that they're not, if they're looking at my nose, they're realizing how beautiful it is, not. I mean, she's got a lovely nose. That's the lovely nose. It really does fit well with her features. I just can't believe she's 16. I just don't think, I don't, 16. How ugly it is. Ugly? Beauty. Your nose wasn't Rather ugly. Fun. Ugly is a strong Since word. Surgery, Lauren has more self-confidence. She doesn't talk about her nose every day anymore. I love Dr. Kenodia. He did a great job. Look at yourself and you go, wow, I look good. I can it's go a very personal the world. journey, you isn't take it? take that attitude and you can conquer the world that day. Mm. Just about everybody who has successful plastic surgery will really get a different lease on life. They come in broken. You fix them. Broken. They really blossom. A small change. Can broken. On the next ah, Dr. Mano stop it. We didn't see any of Dr. Ray's family drama this episode. Okay, my loves, I've got some thoughts. Okay, so we saw Lauren get a nose job at 16 years old to fix the bump and refine the tip in order to uh, feel a lot more confident with herself in regards to the way that she sees herself in social situations, etc. Although her surgery was a complete success by the looks of it, and we saw it at one month later, I mean, you really need to see like 18 months later in order to get like an actual legitimate look at like what the after really is, because she's still going to have like quite a lot of swelling under here, 
from that sort of like deep tissue swelling that doesn't go away instantly, especially not after just four weeks. I am still of the opinion that 16 is too young for a nose job. Definitely 15 is way too young for a nose job. I don't know if maybe the, the situation like worldwide with laws or especially in America and the UK since when this show aired in like 2000 and whenever it was, seven, I think. I don't know if the laws have changed because I, I just think 16 is way too young for cosmetic surgery. I mean, reconstructive plastic surgery, sure. They did in fact mention here, at one point there was a tiny little sentence that said she'll be able to breathe better for the rest of her life. And I'm wondering if maybe that was the caveat of maybe how they could do this surgery on a child, technically? I don't know though. That's just my opinion. Her nose did look beautiful before and beautiful after. I feel like what we have to remember and what I certainly have to remember is that each person's experience with plastic surgery is different. There's no like one size fits everyone. It's just how your journey progresses with loving yourself. And if that involves plastic surgery in some way or another, then it is a tool in the manifestation of happiness. Oh, she's got a degree. Well, my loves, let me know what you think about what we've seen in today's video in the comments box below, because once again, this show, very interesting. I've had a bit of an emotional roller coaster in today's video. I was like, shocked, gasped, gagged, no, yes. What do you think? Let me know. And with that, my loves, it is time for the Patreons. You can see yourself scrolling past on the screen right here, my lovelies. Yes, you can. I am actually just finishing recovering from my recent plastic surgery, which was a breast augmentation. And stay tuned for the video that will be coming from that as a sort of vlog situation in the next couple of weeks, my loves. Today's Twitch shout out goes to Sylvanity. Thank you so much for following me over on Twitch, you stunning woman on the go. If you want to be in with a chance of being featured in my next video's Twitch shout out, make sure you follow me on Twitch. It is Luxaria Plays. And throughout the month of February, we're going to be having some fundraising Twitch streams for some pretty good causes. So come over and join us over there. I'm thinking about playing Little Nightmares 2 for the entirety of February because it's kind of spooky, cute, and a bit grim at the same time. <laughs> and with that, my lovelies, I want to say a massive thank you to my top tier Patreons. Aloria, Orcos Emoji, Beebles32, Shell Herman, Christy Crownover, Christina Kyle, ContraPoints, Danielle, Danny Smith, Dr. A, Elizabeth Stone, Eric Castillo, Jen Martin, Genebeth Herman, Caitlin Wright, Laura Jane, Laura Jane again, Les Banana, Lisa Pennington, Min Min TM, Mariah Sherman, Nixie Tricks, Paolo Rivera, Ryan Vita, Sexy Taxi RN, Slampire Queen, Steffi Tech, Travafall, Tromo, Victoria Carella, and Zoe Sevier. And you know what, my loves? I'm gonna leave it on the note of I really don't think children should be having plastic surgery. I guess it's a case by case basis, but still. Maybe not. Ah! <laughs> oh, what a difficult thing to talk about.